Hello, my name is Erin, and today I'm going to do the review, honest review, <laughs> of the Story Chief. Story Chief is just, um, this is new deal just came out about a few days ago from the AppSumo.com, and as you can see, the price is $49, and there, actually, the deal is it's sometimes a $39 or $49 one-time fee, and um, I thought, I just, you know, purchased this deal about two days ago, and I just used about used it about it and um, I loved it that's why I'm creating this video so uh, I will just read uh, very important parts about this the story chief so first one is to blast your content to all your different channels with just a few clicks and have the entire collaboration comments reveal and approval flow in one place let the SEO and readability tool show you tips on how to optimize your story and see impressions, views, and reads across all of your channels. Okay, so instead of I just show you the, the sales page, I will just jump into the Story Chief dashboard. So when you log into this site, actually this is going to be this is what you're going to see. Okay, so you are going to see your name <laughs> and the data if you publish published any of them. So um yesterday I published two contents writings here and one writing here for testing. And I added about 21 channels. So when you uh, when you just first time to log into the site, uh, you can you want to go to the profile to add your um, the information, the business information, your personal information, and you can go to the channels to add your social media accounts and you know all your blog posts. The sites actually. So um, this is the one that uh, a free that one the customizable blog provided by Story Chief. You can go ahead and click it if you want to add one. So I just add my favicon and I added the primary color and meta description. We have the CTA um, image, <clears throat> the cover image here, overlay text and also the sites. Okay, sites. And you can hide the, the footer if you want to. And also you can go ahead to click on the custom domain to add your custom domain here you know the domain mapping here so the pointing to this and value is this you can go ahead and just do that and you can go to SEO to fill out meta um, title and the description as well here okay so when you're done everything you can just go back and you can go ahead and check it if you want to how it looks like so when you click on the visit your blog <clears throat> So this is how it looks like. This is the, um, the image, the main image, and this is the, um, the overlay text. And these are the the contents I just published it. And that is the color that you choose for your primary color. This is category. Okay, this is a category. And when you click any post, you will see the tags as well. And uh, this is the um, the where the, your website visitors can share this content to their uh, social media accounts. Okay, so let me go back uh, to the story chief, and this is WordPress. I just added one WordPress, uh, WordPress, um, the websites that I wanted to test it. So this is the one. You can go ahead and just download their plugin and install to your WordPress sites, and that's all you need to do. Okay, if you have, if you are using the Drupal, you can use or say to add them, and we have Mazanto, uh, and the popular one, another popular one is just Shopify. Okay, if you have, if you are using Shopify store, you can just write about, you know, your products and what's the best, the benefits to using this product, things like that on your, the Shopify store. Okay. And where's the content hubs? We have a medium and these two. And we have the social networks, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I was able to add only 10, the fan page, um, the fan pages. But if you have more than 10, actually, you can, you have to purchase another code, uh, another the deal, uh, in order to just add them a little bit more. Okay. We have referral uh, marketing. We have email marketing. We have the, or so the mobile platforms as well. Okay. <clears throat> this is where you can add the Google IAMP. Okay. You can, you can just use them. Uh, and yeah, Facebook instant articles. And we have, Yep, that's pretty much it on this the channel page. Okay, so when you're done all this part, you can go ahead and click the dashboard again. And then it's ready to write your content. Okay, so I will go ahead and just create one for you. 
So I'll just say this is Aaron. And I'll go ahead and just uh, copy it. Thank you for watching my video. Okay. And then you, when you highlight them, and you can uh, you can click this little icon here to add any comments. Okay. Uh, for example, if I want to say, please fix it, enter it, and uh, you can invite any of your um, the VAs or copywriters, and then they will see exact your uh, writings here, and then they can see this message as well. And when they are um, to fix something for you, then you can go ahead and click the result. Or you can reply it again. Nope, I won. Something else. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, so uh, you can also delete if you want to. Okay, so that's how it works with the um, inviting other people to visit your contents to fix or just the um, to, you know share your uh, the writings or the the comments. Okay, so uh, when you're done with uh, do everything here, don't forget to add your the image. You can also the, add the gallery, the video, and so on. Okay, so when you're done everything here, you can go ahead and click on SEO. This is where you can add your the add the uh, the key focus keyword. Okay, so my focus keyword will be Aaron. Okay, so now it's jumping to 63%, but the readability is 0%. So I have to, uh, you know, the writing more, more than this, at least 300, uh, the words. And, you know, you have to, you can follow all this, the messages it shows here. And you can go ahead and click the red one, the meta description. Okay. And the next part will be this page, the summary. So this is where you can add the category, the tags, and the publish day. Okay, so um, you can you can just add any uh, meta description if you want to. Erin, uh, no, actually, I'll just say something like that. But I will need a little bit more. But it's jumping to the eighty percent. But I will need to have longer than that. So it's a yellow. It shows yellow. Okay. And when you're done in this part, you can go to the audience and then you can choose which blog post will be the primary. Okay, this one should be the primary actually. So this is the primary and you can just choose the active or, or inactive to publish. Okay, so you can just check each one of them how it looks like. And you can go all the way bottom here to click on the publish or you can go to, you know, the, the click the publish button here. Next part, you can, you know, when you come, uh, when you click on the confirm, it will just publish all over your, all over your, um, accounts. Okay. So I will show you one of the examples that I just finished already. Um, so I will just delete this one I just created. Okay. So, um, yesterday I published these two contents for testing and this is one I just published about a few hours ago. And I have views and I have reads and the leads here. So I will go ahead and just click on the um, edit to show you how the contents look like. So um, this is my content. Okay, I just followed up um, the, exactly what the message shows. And when you click the SEO, it shows 100% SEO. And also I added keywords and readability is 100%. So I was doing everything, uh, just adding this if you image everything. And go to just summary and this image automatically to edit here because I added on this content here. Okay. So I added the category, the tags and also the meta description. I also the added the, the title because it was too short. Uh, the message shows it, it's too short. So I just added a little bit more and audience. Um, this is my, the blog post I and mean, the WordPress sites will be the primary. I just set up that and I published everything to all my social media accounts. And next part is updates. You can go ahead and click the confirm or cancel it if you want to. Okay. So after you've done it, you can go to your blog post to see how it looks like. Okay. As you can see, this is the um, category tags. Okay. And the image and all the bow bold and the header. It's a, I think it's a header too. Uh, sizes and the links edit perfectly fine. And when I go to 
my backend my backend the sites okay um view post so this is how the the post look like so it's exactly same um the as what i showed you from the another blog post uh so this is my title again and i have the bold the the text the um the size it shows exactly the same thing and also my the text okay so when i go to the back end of my sites i didn't do touch anything okay i didn't touch anything but now i'm using the us premium version readability good and seo is good okay and also the category i didn't choose anything but um well i choose i choose it from the story chief i didn't do anything on this blog post but it, it was choosing this and also added all this in text that i choose and the image for the feature image as well. Okay, so enter the focus keywords. Uh, it just added my focus keyword here, the back end as well. Okay, so if you want to do, I mean, you can just read a little bit more of those exact match keyword density zero. Okay, in large parts of the text and do, don't contain the keywords. Yeah, like if I just a little bit, do, like a little bit working a little bit more on this, that'd be wonderful. Okay, so if you are just using US to write in your contents, and um, I think it, it works, it works the same thing. Okay, the for the SEO parts, but this one is a little bit more um, easier to just fix around, and um, it gives you all these messages, you know, the SEO messages. So um, I thought it's kind of pretty awesome, awesome to use it. Okay, and the next part is the data. Um, I just published these two in, you know, 24 hours. So I don't have a lot of data here, a lot of data here. So, um, I have impressions, I have views and the reads. So it shows all this data here, but I have to wait about, I don't know, at least seven days to see, to see, um, you know, what's my views and everything. Okay, so next part will be, I will show you another, um, options here. So I, you can edit if you want to. Uh, you can unpublish it if you want to when you click on publish all everything will be just unpublished mode okay and you can duplicate uh, and you can move to the different campaign okay so you can go ahead and click create the campaign by clicking campaign here i okay this is the um i'm going to delete it i have just one campaign here so uh, you can just create the, another campaign by clicking new campaign here okay so you can go to the content calendar to check your um, the already published already published ones or uh, the will be publishing ones. So uh, all the scheduled ones will be showing here, and you can use a filter to see see um, just check all these ones. You know the ones that you have uh, published or not. You can you can check them out from here. And also you can sync it to with, uh, you know, the Google Calendar, Outlook, and Apple, the calendar as well. Okay. And I never checked this one out, so I don't know a lot of things to talk about it. So you can go ahead and just, you know, <laughs> check it if you want to. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's, I think that's everything, uh, what I know so far. Um, and, um, you can also watch their tutorial video by clicking help. They have all the tutorial videos. I didn't watch their tutorial video, so that's that easy to use, actually. Um, but if you want to just watch their tutorial video, you can go ahead to do, to watch it. And this is a chat box. You can, um, you know, try to contact them. And if you have any questions, you can just contact them. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all, everything about the this, this story chief. And let's go back to the AppSumo sites. So I talked about all these ones, right? Like blast your content to all your contents. I mean, the channels and comments. Re, okay, the, yeah, I talked about it. Impressions, I also talked about it. SEO readability, I also talked about it. Okay, so um, when you go bottom of this page, it shows it's a $49, just one-time fee. And that it be lifetime access to the software and you will get the um, 20 stories per month to publish it um and if you feel it's kind of limited then you can uh, purchase another one uh, to make it 40 stories per month to publish it okay and collaboration review and comments it comes with that uh, multi-channel publishing 
Yeah, you know, so I showed you that and SEO. I showed you that AMP, or so I showed you that. I didn't show you actually uh, how you can um, the create uh, the feeds and MPS uh, no AMPs, but uh, you can definitely just use this feature to edit content calendar. I showed you that, and so I have only this plan here. But if you want to um, you know, use this plan to jump into the 200, you can definitely purchase two of the codes. And um, I actually wasn't able to show you these two because um, I don't. You know, I purchased only one code now, but I'm thinking to purchase two of them because I think 20 feeds will. I mean, the 20 stories to publish will be kind of limited. So I'll, I might gonna just do that. And you can also add unlimited sub accounts if you want to. And yeah, that's pretty much all. And also the the best part of this deal, <laughs> I mean, ever is the 60 days money back guarantee is coming. Uh, it, it comes with it if you purchase through the Epsimo. Okay, so uh, if you want to get the refund after you purchase it, you can go ahead and click the account. And so this is the um, the software that you want to get a refund and you go ahead and click the refund. Okay, so this is the, the bottom of this page. It's very simple to um, get a refund actually. Okay, so that's pretty much it about all this, the, um, the ones. And if you want to read to their um, the reviews, you can go ahead and just you know read them. Or the, here's the questions: We have 193. Yesterday was 140 something, but now it's 193. It's so a lot of people are there, um, they're having a lot of questions. Okay, so um, you can just read them through if you want to. Or uh, here's a review. We didn't re leave any re reviews yet, but I'm going to publish this video to the YouTube video YouTube channel, so you can watch this one as well. Okay, so um, yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, that's it. I I I don't think I missed anything. Okay, so I really hope you to understand about this software. And if you want this software, you can go ahead and purchase it uh, before it's expired. Um, I never seen this software that um that had a deal from the Epsimo. So when you when you just lose this, uh, miss this deal, then you might not gonna see this deal again. So. I highly recommend you just get this deal, just testing about 50 days, right? 60 days of money back guarantee. So maybe 58 days to test it. And uh, if you don't want to keep it, you can go ahead and just get a refund. It's very simple, right? Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. This is Erin again. And uh, I hope you love this video and understand about the software. And don't forget to subscribe my video. Thank you. Bye.